Hi, Leila from Instapage here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through some best practices for setting up conversion goals for your landing pages in Instapage. Let's get started. A conversion goal is what you decide to track as a conversion action on your landing page. This could be when a visitor completes a form, clicks a button, or calls a phone number. By tracking conversions, you can measure how effectively your landing pages are performing once a visitor lands on them and optimize accordingly. At Instapage, we track conversions in one of three ways. To set up conversion goals, select a landing page on your dashboard to open the slide out, click on conversion goals, and you will be presented with two options, internal or external tracking. Our internal conversion tracking provides a combination of two options, form submissions. If you check this option, Instapage will track any form submission on the page as a conversion. Links on the page, if you check this option and select a link here, Instapage will track any clicks on that specific link as a conversion. If you have links on your page, those will automatically appear here as goals to track, so please make sure to only select the ones you'd like to track as conversions. You may have links on your page, such as a Terms of Service link in your footer, which you may not want to track as a conversion. That link will still appear as an option here, but you may not want to select that as it's not technically a conversion you'd like to track. Best practices recommend limited usage of external links because your landing page should focus on pushing one goal and offering additional links will distract customers from converting. You can have form submissions and links tracked at the same time, but you will see the total number of conversions without any differentiation between the type of conversion. And finally, we have external conversion tracking. This is useful if your actual conversion happens further down the funnel and outside Instapage. All you have to do is copy this code and then place it on your external page. External conversion tracking is also useful if you have a third-party embedded form on your landing page. By using the external tracking option, you'll be able to track conversions that happen on your embedded form by copying this script and adding it to your thank you page. Keep in mind that you cannot have both internal and external conversions enabled at the same time. And finally, make sure that you leave the chosen tab active when you save and leave the slide out. With conversion goals set up for your landing pages, you can now see the number of conversions your pages generated and the percentage of visitors that converted in your Instapage Analytics dashboard and we will be covering that in a separate video. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll make sure to get them answered as soon as possible. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.